another video and on today's video it's just a little bit of a hair update so today's hair I have his and her hair companies European wave texture now if you originally remember this hair it was actually a salt and pepper color I think it was like 384 something like that 284 some kind of color like that but it was salt and pepper I'm um, in a dark shade so what I've actually done with the hair is I've actually colored the hair to make it um, brown. The color that I actually used is dark chocolate and adore. Do, do, do. Dark chocolate and adore. I think I used about two bottles of it. And adore is very concentrated. So on one of the bundles, I actually mixed like 50%... Um, conditioner because the first bottom that I the first bottle that I used and the first bundle that I used um, I just used the adore and it's really concentrated so the hair almost looks black um, until you get out into the Sun so it looks like a natural 1B and I thought it would give my hair more of a brown ish hint or hue but it didn't. Um, it's more of a 1B, so when you go into the sunlight, it's going to be a little bit more brown, but still very dark, which is completely fine with me. I knew while constructing this unit um, that um, the person that was going to be wearing this unit does not like gray hair, so I was going to ultimately have to change the color of this unit, but I still wanted to purchase gray hair because I had never like seen and felt it and enjoyed it in person. Now, with altering the hair color, um, this Adore color is very conditioning and the hair prior was very wiry. It's still on the more wiry side. The strands are actually quite big, but it's a lot softer compared to how it was before. The curls also seem to have dropped a little bit, um, since using the Adore color. I mean, it's still quite full still quite thick and these curls are brushed out I actually went through and like brushed everything out um, but the curls are starting to kind of like clump back together again the hair still sheds quite a bit not as much as it did but it still sheds like crazy mind you that this hair I only paid ten dollars for two bundles of like 16 18 inches um, and that was one of the reasons why it was so cheap is because it was going to experience a whole heck of a lot of shedding, which I don't necessarily mind because the hair is so full. I don't mind shedding. And the original wear of this hair isn't going to be like putting her hands in this that much or anything like that. Um, it's just going to be in the state that it's going to be in. But the reason why I came to you guys is because I'm going to straighten this hair. Um, and I wanted to document the curl if this hair happens to get damaged, um, while straightening it. So I just wanted to like document it and see it on camera just so I could see how it looks while there's still a curl or something in this hair. So there are once again, two bundles of 1618 um, with a closure. The closure, if I actually reconstructed this unit, so it's on a new cap and I use a different closure. I use the closure from my. <laughs> I use the closure from my Malaysian 
curly unit, the purple people eater wig. And I actually dyed the closure with the adore color to match the rest of the hair because the closure was actually purple. Um, and there is still a little bit of that because I didn't get all of the color, but for the most part, everything's purple. I mean, everything is, for the most part, everything is the same color, so I do not mind that. So I'm going to go straighten this hair and see if it's still as full straight, see if it holds a curl because this hair is quite wiry and I have like a feeling like it's going to hold a good curl. But I could be completely wrong and this hair could suck straight. So I'm going to go do that and I will be back. Alrighty guys, so I am back with my final verdict. As you see, I've straightened and curled it. Now, regardless of if it's in its natural state or its curled state, this hair is thick and gorgeous. But the downside to this hair is that it is quite resistant because of its coarseness. And it sheds like crazy. This hair sheds so much and I've just kind of realized that this is the only hair from them that has shed a lot. But there is a disclaimer um, on the website while you're purchasing this hair. The reason why this hair was in the sales section, the reason why this hair was 18 inches but $10 is because it's gonna shed. Um, there was a disclaimer saying that it was gonna shed a bunch. But that disclaimer disclaimer was also in the other two. Um, but I think the reason because um, the textures were straighter or something or there were older batches. Um, so they do on the website give you disclaimers as to why the hair is on sale. But this hair has shed non-stop after coloring it after deep conditioning it, after washing it, this hair just is not going to stop shedding. If you plan on keeping this hair in its natural state in the big um, European wave, I don't think you'll have any problems with shedding um, because you're probably not going to be running your fingers through it. But if you were to straighten this hair, a lot of people tend to like to run their fingers through their hair while it's in a straighter texture or state. Um, that's when you're going to run into a lot of the resistance, a lot of the shedding issues with this hair. Um, but I can't complain too much because once again, it was only 10 bucks per bundle and I only bought two bundles. Um, minus the shipping because that's a whole nother thing. The shipping was like $15. Um, but the hair itself is really, really cheap, inexpensive. Um... So I can't fault it too, too much. It took heat very well. Um, this hair is coarse. So once again, I had to use like the highest setting on my flat iron, um, which is a Babyless Pro. I had to use the highest setting on my curling iron, which is a Babyless Pro to achieve this look um, for it to stay like this. Um, it was very humid yesterday and I did... Uh, curl this hair previously and the curls held up for the most part but once again due to heat like everybody's hair on their head um the humidity is going to make the hair swell and that's exactly what happened with this hair when i flat ironed it the first time i had it on a really low setting um because hopefully i want this hair to go back to its natural state because that's what i like this hair in the most and um Due to the humidity and the low setting that I had it on, it um, the curls just dropped out and fell and it kind of got a little bit frizzy and expanded. This hair is very nice hair for its purpose. This hair, for the most part, is meant to be, even though it's 100% human, it's meant to be in that um, European wave. Yes, you can straighten it and all that stuff and yes, it does look gorgeous, but when you straighten it, I mean, and when you're washing it and detangling it, it's going to shed a bunch. And that is the main issue with this hair is that it sheds so much. If it didn't shed as much, I could deal with the resistance because it's not too, too bad. You could add maybe like um, a little bit of um, oil or something, like a little bit of hair serum like organic hair serum or something or the Moroccan argan oil hair, hair uh, serum and that would alleviate some of the resistance um, but it's the shedding that I have more of an issue with versus the resistance in the hair but besides those things this hair is really 
really gorgeous. It's really full. Um, so I can't complain about that. I can give you a little 360. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Like this hair is super full. Super duper full. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, just leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you do want to see more videos of mine. And I will check you guys out on the next video. Peace.